me this because I really wanted to hear what you had to say, especially about the, the uh, claiming your children. I've heard that before. And the crazy thing was, was I was I was researching that because I'm like, yo, I gotta do, I'm a business owner, so I'm, I need to find all the deductions. I can't. I can't go the government. You know what I'm saying? Thirty, forty thousand dollars every year. I can't do that. So you know, I was looking into that. You are not the first person that I've heard say that, and I think that's just one of many uh, tax tax deductions that. Let's just be real. Black folks don't know Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jersey Free, get in my goddamn nerves. I ain't gonna hear you. Shout out to Jersey Free, but we gonna skip your ass. You talking to them? A little bit more. You still talking shit? I'm skipping your ass. All right, I get it. Damn. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't here for this positive talk. I'm here for the shit. There is no positive talk on, in this chat. All right, I'm you too positive right now, Jesus Fruit, and I don't like it. And this is not a safe place for you. So you getting? Uh, I'm skipping you. Warning. 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 You have now entered a not safe space. The term not safe space refers to places intended to be free of hypersensitive, simple-minded, weak-minded, scary cowards that cannot handle criticism, different ideas, or conversations. Basically what I'm saying is get your extra sensitive, I can't rose, I can't take criticism. Listen, if you come in my chat, you better be ready for the smoke. All you Halimas, all you people that want to be burped, all you people that want me to change your diapers, all you people that want me to hold your hand, ain't gonna happen, Captain. I will not. So if you can't handle the smoke, get out of my chat, alright? I ain't holding nobody's hand. You are a grown adult. You are a grown woman. You are a grown man. You can take care of your own motherfucking self. All you Halimas, get out of my chat. You are not welcome. Halimas, you're not welcome. Goodbye. Yeah, mm, you, you're too positive. Uh, mm, mm. This is not a safe, safe space for you, fruity. Fruity, not not right now. Your fruit is 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 rotten right now. I don't want to hear all this positivity. I'm here for the smoke. All right, mm. I'm here for AK. Yeah, put put yeah, but dry, hey, baby, drop drop juicy fruit. She's too positive. Let's listen to AK. I'm gonna hit no damn juicy fruit. Yeah, can you guys uh, just exchange information in the chat? Let's, let's yeah, move on to AK. Yeah, move move on. Drop, drop juicy, man. I wish, I, man, I would have I would have gave 50, uh, KD 50 to drop juicy. Hey, juicy, hey, ain't no hate. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to juicy, but I, boy, I would 50 clap your ass so damn fast. All this damn positive talk to motherfucking mom boss, mayonnaise and mustard. Ew! I'm here shortly, so I appreciate you, uh, Juicy Fruit. Appreciate you. You want me to send you my email, and then you can then I'll Kick send you my number after you email me. Yes, please, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Uh, I, have a okay. I, I wanted to ask, um, because I think this is the main reason why a lot of people are really skeptical. Do you have to pay a fee in order to sell this service? And if you have to pay a fee, yes, ma'am. Get her. Get her, AK. Get her. Get her. Yeah, there you go. Get her, AK. Get her, AK. Shout out to AK. Get her. Get her, AK. Get her. Get her. Get her. It's a service. So why do you have to pay a fee in order to sell? I have a question. Okay. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask, um, because I think this is the main reason why a lot of people are really skeptical. Do you have to pay a fee in order to sell this service? And if you have to pay a fee... Yes, ma'am. It's a company. It's a digital service. So why do you have to pay a fee in order to sell the service? And what do, what do the fees cover? Um, it's a business. So when, okay. It's a business. So when you start a business, there's overhead. Just like if you work a job, believe it or not, you pay to go to the job. When you wake up early, when you're in traffic, when you buy that lunch, when you pay for that gas, when you got to work late and they're not paying you late. When you have to buy those certain clothes to work there. Like you're paying to go to the job. So it's an investment right now. Um, it's regular thirty nine ninety five. Again. I don't like your attitude. Why are you? Hey, it's an investment. It's nothing. Not just in case you know, you got to put gas in your car. You got to wake up and eat breakfast, don't you? That's an overhead. You got to overhead when you eat breakfast. You Don't you drink water? Don't you wake up and breathe? Don't you brush your teeth? I mean, what you? I don't like your attitude. That's why nobody believe you. You got a funky ass attitude. I don't like it. I don't like attitude. Only dope Tina's Matrix super shattered four dollars and ninety nine cents. New drop, please. Devilish face. New drop. All right, good. All right, so we're gonna take a little break, and we're gonna let when we come back from this small uh, break, we're gonna let. AK. Hi. Hey, look. She's telling me hi. Hi, AK. Hi. 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 When we come back from this break, we're going to let AK barbecue her ass. Hi. 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 I see you shortly, AK. I got to drop the drop. Hi. Hi. Okay, break time.
I'll be your huckleberry. Mm -hmm. And on that note, yes, my girl, you got the flow bomb boss. And welcome to Sister T's YouTube pageant tonight. I am so glad that you, yes, are going to participate. Now, mom boss has the floor. How are you doing? Hello. Why do you think you should be the next American Idol? Okay, well, I was going to do a little twirl. <laughs> So this took me naturally, natural hair. I did put on some lashes, but you know, um, but everything else is natural. And why are you here? I'm a mother of six. And how old are you? So I'm 43. I breastfeed a four-year-old, so that's why these boobs are non-existent. What? I have an issue with you. What I'm about to say to you is going to be seen in love, okay? You get him off your tits. That four-year-old boy? You get him off your motherfucking tits. You hear me? All right, baby girl. What do you do? Okay, well, I was going to do a little twirl. So I'm going to do a little twirl. I'm going to stop this way. <laughs> I don't have no, no space to twirl. It's the way you look that's putting us off. What the bloody hell was that? Um, But um, I'm glad to be here. And what are you going to sing? And the song that I want to sing is called tomorrow um it's the gospel song all right off you go and to the stage some of you may know her as mom boss mayo but to us she's bony braxton <laughs> I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. And I don't borrow from its sunshine. For its skies may turn to gray. And I don't worry about my future. For he knows what lies ahead. I mean, that was absolutely horrific. Thank you. How do you think you did? Okay, well, I was going to do a little twirl. But, uh, but what made you audition for this competition? Mm -hmm. I love sausage. Mary, you can't sing a note. I mean, not only can you not sing a note in tune, you have one of the, the, the weirdest voices I've ever heard in my life. Do you have shrimp and grits? <laughs> How do you think you did? Okay, well, I was gonna do a little twirl. Oh, I know. Honestly, one of the worst I've ever heard in my life. The worst? Yeah, honestly. Would you like me to sing like myself? Yes. Yeah. I would tell you that I love you tonight, but I know that I've got time on my side. Where you going? Why are you leaving so soon? Is there somewhere else that's better for you? What is love? If you're not here with me, what is love? If it's not guaranteed, what is love? If you just up and leave, what is love? What is love? What is love? If you just up and leave. It was almost non-human. <clears throat> that's the new drop. For those who are just coming into the chat, that's the new drop. That drop is called What is Love? <clears throat> Salute to the chat. Yeah, I hit that like button if you enjoyed that drop. That's the new Mom Boss Mayo drop called What is Love? This is what love looks like. Me and King. What is love? This is what love looks like. All right, get it, AK.
I have a question. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask them, because I think this is the main reason why a lot of people are really skeptical. Do you have to pay a fee in order to sell this service? And if you have to pay a fee... Yes, ma'am, it's a company. It's a digital service. So why do you have to pay a fee in order to sell the service? And what do, what do the fees cover? Um, it's a business. So when, okay, it's a business. So when you start a business, there's overhead. Just like if you work a job, even now you pay to go to a job. When you wake up... <laughs> <laughs> Barbie Girl Tina's Matrix Super Chat at four dollars and ninety nine cents. D the chat wants it again. And a mouth, not face. <laughs> chat going crazy. All right, let's go, man. What is love? We gonna run it back. Salute to the chat. Let's get it. <laughs> DC super chat at two dollars. Turn down your devices low. Yeah, if if you were in a quiet area, if you're walking down the aisle of a grocery store and it's a little quiet, if you're in the library, if you're at the DPS, you might want to put on your headphones. If you're somewhere quiet, you're in a car with your mom or something. If you're in a quiet place, you might want to turn the volume down and put your headphones in. All right. Be your huckleberry. Mm -hmm. And on that note, yes, my girl, you got the flow bomb boss. And welcome to Sister T's YouTube pageant tonight. I am so glad that you, yes, are going to participate. Now, mom boss has the floor. How you doing? Hello. Why do you think you should be the next American Idol? Okay, well, I'm gonna do a little twirl. <laughs> so this took me naturally, natural hair. I did put on some lashes, but you know, um, but everything else is natural. And why are you here? I'm a mother of six. And how old are you? So I'm 43. I breastfeed a four-year-old, so that's why these boobs are non-existent. What? I have an issue with you. What I'm about to say to you is going to be said in love, okay? You get him off your tits. That four-year-old boy? You get him off your motherfucking tits. You hear me? All right, baby girl. What do you do? Okay, well, I was going to do a little twirl. So I'm going to do a little twirl. I'm going to stop with like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't handle no place to twirl. It's the way you look that's putting us off. What the bloody hell was that? Um, but um, I'm glad to be here. Uh, what are you going to sing? And the song that I'm going to sing is called Tomorrow. Um, it's the gospel song. All right, off you go. And to the stage, some of you may know her as Mom Boss Mayo, but to us, she's Boney Braxton! <laughs> I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. And I don't borrow from its sunshine. For its skies may turn to gray. And I don't worry about my future. For he knows what lies ahead. I mean, that was absolutely horrific. Thank you. How do you think you did? Okay, well, I was gonna do a little twirl. But, uh, but what made you audition for this competition? Mm -hmm. I love sausage. Mary, you can't sing a note. I mean, not only can you not sing a note in tune, you have one of the, the, the weirdest voices I've ever heard in my life. Do you have shrimp and grits? <laughs> How do you think you did? Okay, well, I was gonna do a little twirl. All right, Mary. Honestly, one of the worst I've ever heard in my life. The worst? Yeah, honestly. Would you like me to sing like myself? Yes. Yeah. I will tell you that I love you tonight, but I know that I've got time on my side. Where you going? Why you leaving so soon? Is there somewhere else that's better for you? What is love? If you're not here with me, what is love? If it's not guaranteed, what is love? If you just up and leave, what is love? What is love? What is love? 
If you just up and leave, what is love? It was almost non-human. <laughs> just leave me alone, man. I don't know why people bother me, man. Just leave me alone, man. You know what I do over here, man. Just leave me alone. My boss, I saw that bingo game that you made about me. I see, I, I see you be talking mess about me. I knew I was gonna get my lick back. I seen you made that bingo game about me. I seen it. Mm-hmm. You pop. Really, when you in traffic, when you buy their lunch, when you pay for their gas, when you gotta work late and they're not paying you late, we have to buy those certain clothes to work there. Like you're paying to go to their job, so it's an investment. Right now, um, it's regular thirty nine ninety five. Again, it's a sixteen year old company. You can look the company. <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> like if you work a job believe it or not you pay to go to the job when you wake up early when you in traffic when you buy their lunch when you pay for their gas when you're you gotta work late and they're not paying you late we have to buy those certain clothes to work there like you're paying to go to the job so it's an investment right now um it's regular 39.95 again it's a 16 year old company you can look the company up and but right now they've been running a promo since the new year for 19.95 before the new year it was nine dollars and 95 cents um because they were basically trying to get as many people in to actually help them the monthly fee is 39.95 that covers your website that covers all the training information that covers your my credit system that covers you doing the investment training that covers you doing the w4 training showing you how to do step by step feature w4 to help you bring in that extra income to have that cash flow to invest or uh or pay off something that you want to pay off or use for something else or um you also um, get, uh, did it you're not paying for so basically you're paying to start your own business is that what it is yes ma'am okay, so, so are you working for the company or are you working for yourself so are you working for the company work the, are you working for your I, I, work, I work for the company and i've helped over 100 people get started within the year that i started um the person that helped me get started has helped over four or five hundred people and it just that's just how it goes and it's not, I'm not when i say 100 people i don't mean 100 people on my own i mean i have someone that helps 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 someone so something i did a year ago i'm making residual income from that which is another source of income where i don't have to actually work to get that because that's coming into my home and you want to right so is there, is there a company policy is this like a company policy so do you have to request for holidays or oh no you work from it's your your own boss your cell phone is your is your office and you know quotas no inventory no you can cancel at any time you know like we're not expecting unless we're not expecting you to stay forever unless if you, got, if you if you came into business and you're showing people your growth oh my credit score went up this many points oh i was able to obtain this business credit i was able to correct my w4 and bring in an extra four thousand dollars a year in my home divide that by 12 months so that's how much extra each check you would get to invest and do other things i'm just giving you examples right. you're sharing your testimony to other people like hey, hey i want to do what you, i want to do that i want to boost my score i want to get some business credit so they just start you know coming under you and then before you know it you have helped thousands of people so it's like why would you leave the business it's, that's you know what i'm saying so excuse me I, yes ma'am can i ask a question based on what ak is asking that was a good question ak nice to meet you too hi okay. when she was asking you about um do you you don't have to answer to anybody or whatever. So let me ask a question. Do you get a W-2 or do you get a 1099? 1099. So then that means that you are self-employed. You are a contractor. You don't work for the company. Right, exactly. So that's, well, let me just explain it to you. Let me just explain it to you because the way you just explained it to us was that you work for the company. I'm a network marketer. Okay, but let me tell you what that means to the IRS. I don't know about the title. I'm just talking about the tax laws. Remember, you see, if, when you talk about law to anybody, it's illegal. They want you to have an attorney, okay? And it's illegal because of the way they wrote up the laws. But we have the right to educate ourselves. Again, I love what you're doing, but when you educate yourself, you really got to be educating because people to take you at your word and if you miss any step then that's how you become liable for somebody's mistake and you don't want to do that so what i'm saying to you is that publication look bump all of that toothless tiger uh i'm not interested by just her own testimony uh you owe a hundred and seventeen thousand in debt uh you was you pled guilty to food stamp fraud uh and you were and you wearing a dry fit nike t-shirt Eh, i'm good yeah three strikes you out you got a, a dry fit nike shirt on you owe a hundred. You owe one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. You're in hundred. You, you're in hundred. You, you're in debt for one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars, and you pled guilty to a uh, food stamp fraud. Eh, I'm, I'm good. So I don't even need the the tax stuff and all that stuff. Nah, I'm not interested. Yeah. So you, you done fucked your own self up, my own boss. I don't need to hear nothing else about no taxes, about no legal nothing. Nah, I don't want to get it from you. I get it from somebody else. Eh. Me personally, I'm just talking about for me. I ain't talking about for everybody else. I'm saying that would be three strikes you out. You play guilty, a hundred thousand, a hundred and seventeen thousand dollar debt, and you got a Nike dry fit t shirt on. I'm good. 
the one I said you should learn. It's publication 15, 15. In, the circular, in the circular E. That speaks to employment. In the beginning of the publication, it has questions, and it will tell you whether you are a contractor or if you're an, or an employee. And when AK was asking those questions, it was so important. Well, I apologize if I no, said you're fine. I'm you're not fine. an employee and don't want to be an employee. That's fine, but you don't owe me uh, you know, an apology. I'm just wanting you to give the correct information yes. and give it. And one other thing, AK, and I'll turn it back over to you. Mm-hmm. You keep talking about the W-4 and how you can save money. This is what a lot of people do with the W-4, okay? And I guess maybe you explained it already, but the first six months of the year, you're pretty much paying your taxes. And after that, you know, you may be paying over if you fill the W-4 out correctly. But the W-4 form gives you instructions on how to exactly. fill it out. Yes, I would advise anybody, if you're taking more than eight exemptions on the W-4, you're setting yourself up for a problem. And the problem is called an audit, and it could also be considered fraud. Because on the W-4, you're supposed to reflect your actual situation. They give you different statuses. They give you, like, if you're single, if you're um, if you're head of household, if you're married, if you're married, found separate, you can choose. And then it tells, asks you how many exemptions do you have. You can put zero, and some people put the number that they have. Let's say you and your six children would be seven. So you could claim, really, up to seven. But me, myself, just being myself, because my son is a grown man, I couldn't put on there uh, eight. Right. I could put eight, and what I would do is I could change that. Let's say that if you're expecting a big bonus in two months, you know you get a big bonus. It's going to be taxed differently than your normal money. You can change your, you know, reflect a different number. But what you don't want to do is put those numbers up there, because once you actually file that tax return, if you only have you and one child, mm-hmm. and you claimed nine mm-hmm. all year, you were, you were not paying any federal income taxes, mm-hmm. and you may not end up getting any money back. You may end up owing money. So that's, you know, that's... Now, let me clear up. I'm not telling anyone to add an extra, extra okay. charge. Extra. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you start a home-based business, and you have a business expense that you can add on to your W-4, that now you have excess these extra deductions that you may be overpaying. So it's basically called income shifting. Okay. So I'm showing you how to shift your income. Okay. So I'm going to use the correct terms. I apologize. That's okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. I have one final question. I have one final question. Okay. So um, after you recruit uh, your team, do you earn more money from recruiting? Like, do you earn more money the more people that you add to your team? Or is it... Uh, okay, because that sounds like a pyramid scheme. Right, but your job is a pyramid. If you have a job, because you'll never be the CEO, his children will be what you want. So he's at the top and you're down here as an employee. So is it that a pyramid? Everyone starts at the same level um, when you start as a contractor with this company since um, I want to use correct terms. So we're all on the same level so we can all go up to whatever level. So it's not a... For anything, it's upside down pyramid because we all start down here, but you choose where you go based off what you do. And like I said, I'm not going to let anyone limit my income. I want multiple strings of income. I want 30, 40, 50 strings of income. And this is bringing me multiple. And I have a travel. I'm a travel agent that's bringing me more multiples. And now I'm learning with this business how to invest small amounts to make those um, low risk investments into large returns so I can leave my church in a wheel, not a bill. My travel business is already a legacy business for my church because once you get directorship in that, the company is willed to your whoever you leave it to. So right now, my church will continue to get my bonus money, my residual money, my monthly money, my weekly. Shut up! What the hell are you talking about? Answer the question. I don't even know what she asked you. I I I, 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 I get the residual money. I graduated in 1999. I got my I got my scholarship and 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 bicycling. I just went to a bicycling class. I did I, I just did Pilates. I got my I got my bachelor's degrees in in Pilates. I, I I got my bachelor's degree in uh cosmetology. What the fuck? Are you? I don't even know what you, what was the question. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about now. Just answer the damn question, man. This is why you fucked up, mom boss. Ain't got to do nothing about KB. So you cannot blame KB for your faults. Mom boss, look back at, at, at this live stream and listen to how you fucked yourself up. KB gave you the platform to defend yourself, to talk about your business. You the one that talked about your food stamp scam that you played, uh, uh, that you uh, took a plead. You took a plead. That's what you said. You told us that you got $117,000 in debt. You the one up here with a Nike dry fit goddamn t-shirt on instead of a, of a blazer and a button down you know, button down shirt. All right. This is you. You not looking professional. You the one up here talking. It's a business. Don't you have overhead? You the one with the attitude. You the one that's aggressive. Take self accountability. Look at you. You presenting your company in a t-shirt. Goofy money for their lifetime in my travel business. This is a whole nother business that I'm talking about with this one. But I'm, I'm just saying like, we were talking to go to school, get those good grades, all that. I did all that. And uh, my student loans left me in debt. I, um, and just, that's who we are. Like, I have a master's degree in biology, pre-med, minor in chemistry is my undergrad. Don't nobody care about none of that pre-med, pre-med, med, pre, pre-oven, pre-heat, pre-game, pre-warm-up. I don't want to hear nothing about no preheating, no oven, no nothing. I don't want to hear pre-shit, pre-workout. I fuck that shit. It sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. But in real motherfucking life, in real motherfucking life, bitch, motherfucking ass clown you. I don't even know damn pre this, pre that. Fuck out of here. I want to hear that shit. 
therapy. My master's is microbiology with concentration in pharmacology. I'm not even using them. I write grants. Um, I help. Um, like I said, nonprofit be a Hand Foundation. Get over four point one million dollars the seven years that I was there, and I just want to free out people whatever way I can. So if you need me to make a check for you to promote your business, I can do that for you. Or if you want me to give you some education on something that you don't know that I know, that's what I do. I'm a coach and mentor, and that's what I do. And people pay me to do that, and I give a lot of free information. When people join my team, they get the free step by step. And I am here not to slander her business. I didn't say anything about her business. I said her presentation sucks. Yeah, I'm a sue damn deep for defamation. Yeah, so I can give my opinion. Your presentation sucks. I didn't say nothing bad about your company, ma'am. I said, actually, your company, the information that you presented is accurate, but your presentation sucks. I'm dead damn deep over there defaming my character. No, I'm defaming your goddamn presentation. It's ass. It's trash. You ghetto. You hood. You goddamn country ghetto. You need to learn how to speak. Your presentation sucks. I don't like it. That's my opinion. Business credit videos which says do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, which is guaranteeing you to get the business credit if you follow the proper steps and get everything in order. And so that's that's what I, I like to. Um. It, okay. Um. Yeah. I'll get off. Uh, thank you for having me, Tommy. I think someone else is talking about one. <laughs> it sounds like a well, because, you don't want to ask one more question for you. Man, I'm talking about man. Man, kick everybody off. Kick these goddamn three misfits off. And yeah, we need a one on one with goddamn. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. KB, you know? Hey, KB. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kick these motherfuckers off the panel. Yeah, yeah. She needs a solo. Yeah, hey, KB. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Slip to KB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She asked. <laughs> right, it sounds like a pyramid. Like I said, I, I mean, it's, 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 it's network marketing. Well, it sounds like a pyramid. Can we have our next guest? Please, we want to keep it positive. Ah, uh, shut up, Regina. You know she's in the bind. She's in the bind, Nate. I'm in the bind, Regina. I'm in. Yeah, you know she's in the bind. You know she done fucked up, don't you, Regina? <laughs> I'm in the bind, Nate. Yeah, she's in the bind, Regina. You know she done fucked up. I'm just saying, like, we were taught to go to school, get those good grades, all that. I did all that, and I, my student loans left me in debt. I, um, and just that's who we are. Like, I have a master's degree in biology pre med. My main chemistry is my undergrad. My master's is microbiology with concentration in pharmacology. I'm not even using them. I write grants. Um, I help. Um, like I said, nonprofit, be a Hip and Ham Foundation, get over 4.1 million dollars in seven years that I was there. And I just want to free out people whatever way I can. So, if you need me to make a check for you to promote your business, I can do that for you. Or if you want me to give you some education on something that you don't know that I know, that's what I do. I'm a coach and mentor, and that's what I do. And people pay me to do that. And I give a lot of free information. When people join my team, they get the free step by step business credit videos, which says, do this, do this, do this. Do this, do this, do this, do this, which is guaranteeing you to get the business credit if you follow the proper steps and get everything in order. And so that's that's what I, I like to. Um, it, okay. Um, yeah, I'll get off. Uh, thank you for having me, Tommy. I'll give someone else a chance. Sounds like a pyramid. Well, we can't, well, you don't want to ask one more question for you, Lou. <laughs> right, it sounds like a pyramid. Like I said, I, I mean, it's, right, it's, it's, it's network marketing. Well, it sounds like a pyramid. Can we have our next guest? Please, right. because we want to keep it positive. It's like history, Mo. Let's keep it positive. Can I ask you what you want to give you a referral fee, a discount off of that? It, no, I, I, I just want to make our next guest, please. <laughs> <laughs> Regina triggered in the motherfucker. She said, ah, can we have a, it's Black History Month, boy. Regina triggered in the mother. Hey, you knew she fucked up. Regina, you boy, you knew, boy, she didn't walk herself in that quicksand. Yeah, Regina, help her. Help me, please, help. Hey, help mom boss, please. Help me, please, help her, please. Yeah, boy, you better go help your people. Black ladies, we're representing black ladies. Right, black ladies. Yo, I bet you this is when AK started getting those alleged death threats. Because Regina seems to be very triggered. Look at that Medea face. Now, you over here talking about uh, Gary look like Medea. Boy, your face look like uh, Martin when he got beat up by Tommy Hearns. Your face look like the mask character. All right. You look like Medea in real life. So this is probably when Regina started attacking the beautiful AK. What's up, Kevlo? We got Kevlo in the building. Salute to Kevlo. Yeah. Hey, y'all remember the, the, uh, the villain? Y'all remember the villain that was in the mask? That's who she looked like right there. I don't know what that villain person name name, but she looked like that uh, final boss in that movie in the mask. Yeah. This who goddamn Regina look like. Y'all remember this motherfucker right here? Yeah, I ain't lying. That's, <laughs> that's what Regina looking like right now. She look like the final balls in goddamn the mass movie. I ain't lying.
<laughs> Boy, Regina triggered in a motherfucker. In, in my opinion, I think this is when she started attacking the beautiful AK. Look at goddamn Regina. Boy, she triggered in a motherfucker. Look at her. But she put that mask on. It's Black History Month. <laughs> she put that. In my opinion. Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. All right, I didn't remove that. Queen, we okay. We're gonna add two more. Sorry, AK. Hey, so I wasn't trying to be disrespectful earlier. You know, I want to show respect to the show, Kwame. Man, I appreciate what you do, bro. Um, I was just saying, keep it a beam, man. You know what I mean? I don't know your back history, your backstory. That's not my business. And, I, and you know, it's, it's real cool that you went and got your uh, your master's degree in biology and minor in uh, chemistry or whatever you did. That's cool. You know, I have a question for you though. What do you think about uh, chapter thirteen finally? You know, if you uh, start the business and it didn't go that well, you don't have to... that's what I'm saying. We show you how to properly get things removed, or you don't have to file chapter seven and chapter. 13. Mm. Like, don't go that route first. Don't do that. So I should come to you then? You, you, if you know someone else that's in this business, you can go to them. As long as you start. No, no, what I'm saying, I should go, I should go yes, to yes, and I will get you, I will send you the link for you to get started. You will have instant access to start your credit journey. And you my, my, my whole thing is, man, we gotta stop being soft, man. It's a broad. All right, Cass, we can make money. Right, so yeah, I would dope. I definitely think you talk to do that. Five, chapter seven, chapter mm. No, there are better ways. You don't have to do that. Okay, okay. So when I sign up for your link, then I drop right, it. It's just not my link. Like I said, I just share the information and you get into, you know, the business. And then when you start with me, I just have extra things that I offer my team. Any information that I learn, I teach my people because I want you to get to the next level. The more people I have get to the next level, the next level I get to. Mm. So I want you to grow. So I show my people how to make landing pages, how to make websites, how to make link tree. If they want to do YouTube, I show them how to do intros and banners. Like I do it all. I show them how to make money on Facebook reels. Like any information that I can give to be helpful. I show them if you have a hard time opening up a business account with a with a bank account, with a bank in your area or credit union, here's an online bank that will open it for you with fifty dollars minimum deposit so you can go ahead and get your business journey going. I just so have you ever thought about going to uh, get your CPA or some type of uh, legal have, you can I'm, give financial advice? Right, I'm doing that now with my financial journey. Right, with, with my business, I'm, I'm on that journey. That's, that's so do you have it now? This was two years ago. You should have it by now. Fake money? It did sound like she said fake money, but I think she was, I think she's just nervous and I, I think she said Facebook or something. Yeah, it, it, it did sound like she said fake money, huh? Things I offer my team, any information that I learn, I teach my people because I want you to get to the next level. The more people I have get to the next level, the next level I get to. So I want you to grow. So I show my people how to make landing pages, how to make websites, how to make link tree. If they want to do YouTube, I show them how to do intros and banners. Like I do it all. I show them how to make fake money on Facebook Reels. Like any. Yeah, it just seems like she. Yeah, I'm just gonna give her the benefit of the doubt, and maybe she just slipped on her words, you know. But look at Regina though. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, information that I can give to be helpful. I show them if you having a hard time opening up a business account with a, with a, bank, account, with a bank in your area or credit union, here's an online bank that will open it for you with $50 minimum deposit so you can go ahead and get your business journey going. I just, so have you ever thought about going to uh, get your CPA or some type of uh, legal have, account I'm, you can I'm, give financial advice? Right, I'm doing that now with my financial journey. Right, with, with my business, I'm, I'm on that journey. That's, that's one thing because I understand people want to see certifications, but at the same time, if I'm showing you, telling you about my personal experiences, I don't need a certification to, to share my testimony. I mean, so, testimony and financial advice are different things, but no, you know, I, I respect that. No, I, no, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying if I say something that is done for me, that's my testimony. And you can either, you know, take that testimony, but I can show you other testimonies as well, you know, not just mine. And then when you get started, you can share your own testimony. So I'm not, I would never try to give you financial advice. I always tell you to consult your financial advisor. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You don't have to be scared to even uh, stand, stand how you feel. And, you know, if you want to become that type of financial advisor, that's what you need to go for. Because, you know, you're having a title, you're a mom boss, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're a boss, right? So you don't have to be taking advice from people that don't know you. If you secure oh. what you do, stand on your 10 toes and tell them, okay, I, think I appreciate your advice, but I'm going to approach this how I want to approach you. If you flip right. EBT card, whatever you're going to do, well, flip your money. Flip EBT card. Whatever you're going to do know, to make your money, financial advice, whatever, stand on that, stand and don't listen to these tables, man. Just keep pushing, you know, Yep, may, I ask, may I ask a question based on something he said a moment ago? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mom, about the bankruptcy. When he asked you about bankruptcy, and you said uh, chapter 7 and chapter 13. 13. Mm -hmm. And so with an LLC, would you file that or would you file the chapter for the business? And do you know what that chapter is? No, and that's why I told him don't file anything with that. I don't know if he was talking about, was he talking about a business or what he's what's I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking about like if I start my own business. So say, say if I start a t shirt business and I went too far into debt to where you know, I can't pay my loans off and I have a substantial amount of debt and I file chapter 13 to you know, clear my business debt up and all the other stuff. Boy. I know her chat was wet in the mother, boy. I bet you when she got off that live stream, boy, her, her chair was dripping wet. Boy, is it hot in here? Ooh, boy, I, I know she was sweating. Her underarms was wet. Goddamn, boy, she had a puddle. She's sitting on a puddle right now. It's hot in there, ain't it? Woo! But your business debt wouldn't go under chapter 13 and, and unless, you know, you are sole proprietor. Right. Well, if I'm putting my liable assets so as far as leaving my house and mortgage. Yeah, but if okay. you're going as an LLC or if you're going as a corporation, okay, that's a chapter 11. And, and that's what businesses do as well, uh, my boss, what you were talking about. That's what they do. They And a lot of people think that 
bankruptcy is a bad deal. It's not the best deal, but it's not also the worst deal because the only thing you're doing is reorganizing. That's what big companies do. They will run up taxes and they get into trouble and they start losing money. And so that's a protection of your assets. Mm. A lot of things that we don't know because we are not taught finances. A lot of things that we don't know that debt is not bad either. Not all debt. See, that's what I'm talking some about. Some debt is good. Yeah, some debt is good debt. And I'm a subject matter expert because I was a tax collector. But they taught us only on the need to know. So I'm not a tax professional either. I have the ability to become an EA, which is an enrolled agent. And that's a person that can practice. But I know things because, you know, I read and I retain the things. But uh, one of the things that you, you know, was trying to suggest that we do, and that's what I do on my page, suggest that people read. There was a time that we couldn't read. And now that we can, they said, all you got to do is put it in the book. They can't read. They won't read. So we won't learn. But Wait, yeah, chapter 11 is for the business. Chapter 11 is for the business. And an individual, and they don't really, the tax laws changed 